one so I ended up um, well my plan was actually to go to the gym and then have a shower at the gym because I've arranged to meet my dad at Costco today and uh, obviously being on a time limit with Vi like picking up Violet at 2 I just thought the best thing for me to do is have a shower at the gym and then go straight from here to Southampton to meet my dad at Costco um, he wants to go there anyway he keeps nagging me about going there um, and I want to obviously get some compost and uh, bark as well and I, I didn't have a chance to do that over the weekend me and Graham planned to do that but then we realized that Costco actually closes um, earlier over the weekend which is really weird so we were gonna go in the evening but they were already closed at 6 so um, yeah so I'm gonna do it with my dad I need him anyway I need a, a you know a man to help me move the um, stuff into the car because it's gonna be heavy it's a massive load of compost um, so basically that's the plan for today, that's what I need to do, so I'm going to go meet my dad and we'll probably have lunch as well which would be nice and yeah it's about 20 past 10 so I whizzed through the gym, Whew, I worked hard though, I felt I felt good and I actually, um, because Wednesday um, I've basically got to take my car to Kia um, in the morning, I won't actually, I suppose I could fit a gym session in but I don't know if I'm going to because like, it will be like later on in the afternoon, probably like around lunchtime. then I'll have to get Violet so I've actually booked myself in for aqua aerobics on Wednesday instead of going to the gym on Wednesday morning um, and I haven't done that here so that'd be different but yeah it's a beautiful day, it's so nice but it's, I'm just so like uh, why can't it stay like this because apparently it's supposed to rain this afternoon so yeah, it says 8 degrees, so it's pretty mild. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go see my dad now and we'll probably catch up and be lovely. Just me and my dad. It's really nice having like one-on-one -on -one time with my dad. And we'll probably have lunch as well. And I love having a good brown browse around Costco. See if I can pick stuff up for Easter. We've got an Easter, we're having an Easter like family party on Sunday at our house. So that is the plan for this week is finding crafts and little Easter bits. I've got, a, I've got quite a lot. I need to get the stuff down from the loft from last year. See what I've got. Um, but yeah, Easter's coming up and that's really exciting. So yeah, I'll probably see you, um, yeah, maybe at Costco. I was explaining to Graham um, over the weekend, I've got hair on my face, that um, when he was driving, he looked really comfortable. And I was like, why do you look so comfortable when you drive? And I don't. Like, I, it's not that I'm not comfortable. I just used to love resting my arm on, like, the armrest. And then I realised it's because I have to sit so close to the steering wheel because my legs are so short. He was like, you're too short. That's why you're sitting so close to the steering wheel. I can't sort of... Um, See, I'm so close, I can't... I had no problem in the Kia, though. I mean, the Sportage, but it's just... It's not as comfortable. I suppose I can. My arms aren't long enough. Anyway, I'm weird. <laughs> had a successful shopping trip. I, um, with my dad, we had lunch as well in, in Costco. Hot dog. I had a hot dog. Oh, my God. And I managed to get my compost... Oh, my compost and my bark, which I wanted. And they were doing three for two on it. So my dad was like, just get three for two. It's worth the money. She basically get one free. So, yeah. So it actually fitted in my boot. <laughs> Can you believe that? I just didn't think it would, but it did. So, yeah, I got that. And I need to get Graham to unload it. Literally just in time to get Violet. I'm just going to quickly film what I got for like a Costco grocery haul. Um, and then I'll have to get her. But yeah, I've got a few things. They've got loads of summer stuff out at the moment, like really good outdoorsy stuff. But I don't really necessarily need it right now. Um, but yeah, i got a few things. You've seen these anyway before this video. But i got these little mini Advex kids and they didn't have, they've never had these before. These are the new in and they're £10. That's with VAT. So, yeah, and it's a shame because they should mix them up a bit because they only had the boy version or the girl version. And I know I could have just got one pack and made Violet have these ones. I mean, I'm sure she wouldn't have minded, but I don't know. The girls' ones are pretty cute though, aren't they? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So, yeah, I've got a couple of things and I'm quickly going to film a haul quick. And then I'll go get by. I'm so knackered. Surprising what I've done. My dad was talking about what he's been up to this morning. Oh, I just got up. I made myself some scrambled eggs on toast and I had... Um, yeah, a few rashes of bacon, all lovely. And I was like, yeah, I've been to the gym, I've done school run, nursery run. Ah, oh, anyway, I thought I was crazy going to the gym. Just got my Easter box down from um, the loft. Easter birthday, I've got, I've got extra birthday bits in here, so it'd be good to see. I bought some stuff from last, from like the reduced section last year and like hobby craft and stuff. So it'd be good to see what I've actually got for Easter. 
Okay, so I've got some of these little things. These are cute. Little paint crafty things. I've got some of the moulds. Little bunny moulds. They'd be good. I just need to get some of the candy uh, melts. I've got some of like tablecloth from last year. All the eggs for the egg hunt. I don't have to buy any of those again, which is brilliant. Oh, look, I found their ears. Their little lint bunny ears. I got them. I got these from um, Cardo last year. I had, I think I had like a voucher. Some of the decks, Easter decks. Oh, perfect, look at that. I've got some stuff which is really, really good, but no me. You know, I have bought some stuff as well and I'll probably get a few extra bits if I need it. Okay, so this is what I've bought on top. Loads and loads of stuff. You've probably seen a lot of these things. Just pack them away. It's great just to pack them away. Here's what I got from TK Maxx last week. I've got some of these little treat bags. I've got those absolutely yonks ago for like 50 pence or something um oh i got these as well i got these from the range look how cute they are they're all chicks i got those i'm no joke probably back in january i just saw them in the range for like a pound each so i got two of those one each for the kids great for like oh yeah and i got these as well for vi <laughs> She's stocked up oh and lots of bunnies for um in the pound store they do three for 99p so um yeah i got loads of these to put in the eggs as well and just leave them around for like easter egg hunt i just um dug out their easter baskets as well so these are actually years old years and years i got these from asda probably about two maybe three years old for like a pound each and they've lasted so well but they're just handy when we've got extra family members coming around they need a basket but these ones i actually made the kids last year i don't know if you remember in easter bags um so Alice, this is pretty battered. It's like Easter bag. It's quite cute. And then I did Vi's here with a little bunny on. She's actually been using hers quite a lot actually throughout the year. So yeah, Easter bags as well. Lucky kids, hey? Got a look into our little Easter baskets. I'll probably do a video on that like last year. Um, yeah. So I think I'm probably going to go onto Pinterest tonight now and get some inspiration for like table decorations and like. Um, Easter food ideas, Pinterest is just amazing for that sort of thing. Um, I'll probably do cupcakes and like sandwiches and stuff for Sunday. Oh dear, I'm knackered. Right, I better go get Vi. It's brightened up still. It's still, mm, I wonder if it's going to rain. It said, they said school run time, it'll be raining. Um, I actually can't believe Alice is at school. There's so many um, sort of like schools around us that I have got like Easter off already and we haven't. Alice doesn't break up till Thursday. And on Friday, I've decided I'm going to take him like one on one because Violet was still a bit nursery, doing like cinema or something, something that he wants to see. How's your new cup? You like it? Yeah. It's got some Easter egg because none of me, long time ago, we was none of me was having some Easter eggs. Were you? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Cheeky. Yeah, I brought Madden back from nursery. They said, because um, I obviously, you know, she was a bit funny this morning. They rang me and said she was fine. But they said, oh, she's been really, really happy today. She's been really chatty. And they said they can't believe the 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 personality of sometimes, like, she's really, really quiet and she doesn't really speak to anybody. And then other days, like today, apparently she was, like, really chatty. She's just, yeah, she's just that sort of child, I suppose. It depends on her mood. It depends on it, like, anybody's mood, I suppose. She's just that sort of person. Um, but yeah, she had a good day and she was practicing her name. They said she's good at that. So, yeah. You... I've got a new one to me. Yeah, you lucky girl. Right, uh, folding up washing. I have Barbie on posture. Yeah, Barbie's on, apparently. Oh, advert's on. But I'm just about to publish no, my meals for the week. Get that done and then we're going to go get brother. It's nearly half two. We've actually come home from school and the kids are, as always, they're playing outside. It started spitting, but actually really didn't do much else and still quite nice. So, see the sheep there as well. So they are, oh, I was just throwing sand again. How many times do I have to tell that boy? It drives me mad. He's deliberately throwing at her, at her and he never does, but he kind of used it as like a fireball bible um because it blows back in the wind but i just say to him you know if it gets in his eyes if it gets in violet's eyes they will just be in agony and he's had sand in his eyes before so i don't know why he's doing it again <sighs> he's such a terror he's watching me um 
Oh yeah, I'm going to get outside actually. I'm going to ask them if they want to help me do some, do some planting. I've got my compost now, I've got my stuff and I've got my flowers. Obviously I need to get loads more flowers um, and seeds and stuff, but I can start like potting some stuff. Um, while, well basically before my flowers die, because they're obviously not going to do too well in tiny pots, they need some proper like food. So, oh my little lappy's coming over. So um, yeah, that's basically the plan. I'm going to try and get at least half an hour's done and then obviously start dinner, because start dinner at four usually. We're having lamb steaks for dinner, because we were supposed to have them yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. I don't even know what we did yesterday. I can't even remember. Oh, I done the chicken. Yeah, I done the chicken instead. So we're gonna have lamb steaks, homemade chips, and some vegetables for dinner, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna go outside, get some. Oh, and I've dyed my hair. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I've had a lot of compliments at the school. They were like, oh, you look different. And I'm like, yeah, I've dyed my hair. It looks really dark, I only dyed it yesterday morning, so it's still really, really dark and it needs obviously a few washes to sort of look more natural, it looks kind of too much at the moment, it looks really dark, but it's it looks a bit more ready than usual, I don't know why, I, it's, I'm sure it's the same colour I usually use. The kids have spotted Jack, our lamb from last year, they're like calling him. Yeah. Lamb. Did you? Where's Jack? There he is. That's Jack. Yes, Hi Jack! How you doing buddy? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Are you not cold? I'm getting really cold. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm progressing. I filled up a couple. Um, I think I'm going to swap this round. I've got another bigger one there. So I think I'm going to put that big one here instead. So there's a sort of smaller one. Swap that over. Yeah, I need to fill these obviously. Oh. Takes time. There's some poo in there. Is there? Yeah. Where? There. Oh, chicken poo. Oh, chickens. Yup. Violet's being a good helper, aren't you? You're spreading it around. Oh, fill up the big one. That's the giant one. I actually took the strawberry plant out of the giant one. But I'm going to put that in a smaller one, I think. I think I might put it in that one over there. Because it doesn't really grow much bigger than this. Maybe a little bit when it gets blooming more, but... And I might put the other strawberries around it. Good help with my well done. It's not yours, this Yeah. That's it. Try and spread it round. Good girl. That's it. Dig a hole. Planting our tomatoes. That's it. Stick him in the hole. That's it. And then cover him up with mud. Oh, well done, Violet. It's, it's yeah. dying. It's not dying. We'll give him some water. Yeah, I guess some That's our tomatoes. I'm going to put the tag on there. Those ones are tomato tumbler. Right, we're going to put these under shelter for a little bit because they don't want to be out in the cold too much, all right? Okay? Okay, so progress so far. We've planted a few things. I've, I've left the tree there because I'm not sure where I'm planting my rose bush in that tree. I'm not sure if that should really go in the ground. And we've got muddy, muddy hands. And I planted my wild strawberries over there. I don't know what I'm going to plant on these yet. I'm obviously going to get some more plants. Some of the pansies here and pansies over there. Just little ones, obviously, I'm going to sort all this out. And then I've uh, got the strawberries, strawberries, tomatoes. I mean, if I did those. I have three. Look at this. Come on, DX. Let me wilt my spinach. I don't know which one's mine. Yeah, that, that one. That, that one. one. That one. Okay. How do you know they're going to be double? Because of they. <sighs> oh! Hey. Whoa. How did you know that? It's not even much bigger. It's double. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay, well I don't need the third one now, do I? No, that one's a bit anyway. What happened? Two eggs in one. He's bigger than you. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Ken. Ken? Again. Again. Because um, again. The little um, his little dog's called Ken. Yeah. Wait, where's his nose gone? Huh? Huh? Where's his nose? <laughs> fell off. <laughs> She get she getting up? <laughs> Lazy thing. <laughs> what are you doing? She's got sunglasses on, dressing gown, slippers, 
just come in like a superstar to breakfast. You're a superhero. See our little miss is finally awake, aren't you? Where did you sleep this well, where did you wake up this morning? Huh? Where did you wake up? Where was she, Alistair, when you woke up? Where did you find her, Alistair? On the floor. <laughs> you were on Alistair's floor, we're weren't same, you? Look, we're all the same. What were you? We're all the same age, and they're both five. The dog and me are five. Because you're the same size, is that yeah. why? But if you stretch out your legs, you might not be. I like going on Alistair's floor. You like going on Alistair's floor? Why? That's why it's so comfortable. Why, Violet? Is it comfortable? Yeah. Good morning. It's Tuesday, and oh, as always, on a Tuesday, I'm like fine getting up on a Monday. No problem. It's like, yay, Monday. And then Tuesday, I'm just like, oh, I, I don't even want to get out of bed. <laughs> so, yeah, me and Graham struggled to get out of bed this morning, surprisingly. So, um, Violet's only just woke up. It's like 20 to 8. That's quite normal for Vi though, she's, yeah, we found her on the floor as well, so she obviously got herself out of bed and decided to sleep on Alice's floor, so, Hello. yeah, <coughs> it's really windy today and it's supposed to be raining a lot, so, literally the winds were so strong, it's howling the through wind, the house. Um, the winds are Did you hear it? Yeah. Was it howling? Uh, Ooh, through the house, you could kind of hear it, couldn't you? Do you know what you've got today huh? after school? No. You've got craft club today. Oh. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take my big doggy. I don't think you can take your big doggy, Alistair. Why? Because there's no room for it in the classroom. There is. I don't think there'd be any room for him. Why don't you put him on your bed? Yeah, today um, I'm actually meeting my sister and my mum and my nan at Soft Play. The one... Um, kind of in Belzodon. Um it's kind of easy for my nan basically mainly to get there with my mum so I said I'll go that end it's quite a way away but um, luckily we try and do this on Tuesday so then obviously Alice's craft club it gives me that more time and less stress to sort of get back to school um, I need to go food shopping though although I don't really need much I've only got a um, it's stuck to a 10 pound note I've only got a small list um, I really don't need much at all because we're actually, I don't think I've mentioned, we're going away next week, Monday to Thursday. Um, this has been a, like in a long sort of process since like February, like just discussing, throwing it back and forth um, with um, a company, Snowdonia Mountain Company, I think it might be called, I'll link it below, but they basically want us to do a vlogging activity week. And I thought it was a really great idea. It's basically a whole load of different things that we've been asked or invited to do. Um, from like climbing things and kind of places like family parks and stuff. So um, we're doing that next week. And obviously Graham's coming with us. I mean, they were, go they were throwing it back and forth trying to get me to do it. Well, asking me to get to do it in March. And obviously we don't have any holidays in March, like as in like school holidays. So I was just like, there's no, there's no way it's going to happen. I mean, I want to take my boy. It wouldn't make sense for me and Violet to do it on our own, that sort of holiday. So we're all going and it's I'm really excited and it's going to be a lovely family break. I was not expecting a family break in April. This is very, um, it's sort of long coming. You know, we've been waiting, sitting on it for ages. But Graham obviously has kind of known and been trying to make sure he's planned to be off. So, um, yeah, we're all going away as like a mini, kind of mini holiday, kind of, mini working holiday you could call it because I've got of, of course I've have to do stuff it's not going to be a non-vlogging week or anything you will see what I'm doing and with family and stuff so it basically be like another weekly vlog it will just be probably a little bit shorter and a bit more like oh this is this place this is that place but I always find that really interesting anyway because it's nice to see where to go and to take your kids and if these places are actually worth the money um Anyway, so that's the plan for today. I do need to do a little bit of food shopping, like I said. Um, where this soft play is, it's actually near a big Tesco. If, I, if I'm running late on time, I'll go to Tesco. And I don't ever shop in Tesco for food, so I could try it. Um, if I've got more time, then I'll go to Morrison's because um, Morrison's over there too, and I really like Morrison's. And yeah, so that's the plan anyway. And I feel like I've 
got a bit really bunged up. <laughs> I don't know how. Just got back from the school run. If you're wondering why it cut off yesterday as well, it's because I actually ran out of battery. So I just put it on charge in the end and, you know, just forgot about it. But, um, yeah, I filled in some baskets as well, but so much, I need to get some more plants. Apparently the local um, garden place, like we have a little, really little one, uh, where we live, they um, apparently owe us some flowers for Graham doing some useful things with his tractor for them. So, yeah, I'm going to get some free flowers, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah, I've just come home from school run. I really need to sort my face and my hair out. I think I'm just going to stick it up because it is just crazy windy out there. I cannot believe it. Like, me blown away. Um, and I've got some chores to do. I've just stripped my bed, put that in the washing machine. And I'm going to, obviously, put some clean sheets on. And um, I can't think what else I need to do. I'm sure there's stuff that I need to do. So I'm going to do those. And then we're going to head off around just after 10-ish. Uh, probably about 10 to meet my sister and my mum. Right, we finally got out of the house. It's 10 o'clock. And we're leaving to go soft play. I've brought snacks. I've brought bags for obviously shopping. I think we've got everything. You just never really know. I'm feeling really pink today. I'm not really a pink person, but I've had this scarf forever. But I thought I'd just, you know, I bought this pink top and I just thought, yeah, I'm going to wear some pink. So, um, yeah, Violet's. <laughs> I love your sunglasses, Violet. She always wears them upside down. Why do you wear them upside down, Vi? Are they comfortable like that? Yeah? You are so gross. Yeah, so she always wears them upside down. I don't know how that's comfortable, but... Anyway, we're gonna head on to soft play. Still fourth wind today. Getting blown away, aren't we, Vi? Yeah, you gonna have fun? We've arrived, my sister's already there, so... Yeah, it's nice and sunny now. We're back in the car, it's 20 past one, we're all like stuffed, oh, we had lunch, obviously I brought Violet's lunch with me, but yeah, I had lunch there, and yeah, I had a good play, you had fun with Olivia, yeah, yeah, they had fun, they just done running around, and it's just still really, really nice, because all the kids are still at school, so at the moment, this week, just for this week only, until next week and the week after, it's all quiet, because it's obviously just little children, so, um, okay, so Violet just decided to squeeze her, chocolate milk all over her so I had to just clean her wipe her down but now you look a mess don't you oh dear <laughs> um yes yeah, so we're gonna head to Morrison's now so we've got enough time we've got Morrison's food shopping and uh, get that done out of the way really it's really really nice it's still um sunny but still quite windy so um yeah it says 12 degrees so that's nice okay I'm gonna do a bit of food shopping you're gonna be you're gonna help mummy gonna be a good girl Wish me luck. So we finished shopping, haven't we? Ended up with more than what I bargained for. Okay. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I can see I got more than what I planned. Less food though. Didn't need much food, did we? Just been bribed by this little one to get this, that and the other. And I've got a couple of things for Alistair, so yeah. Look who's on the track. Little Amy. <laughs> we can get through. Look, they're all there. They're all right near the fence, all the lambs, they're just playing. Oh, they're going to run back to their mummies now, you watch them. This is your How cute! <laughs> Look at them all. We are home and I've already picked up Alistair from school. It's like quarter, it says quarter four, it's quarter five obviously because we have the time change and Graham still hasn't changed that clock. <sighs> but um, I've just got washing to fold up and I've just put on dinner, we're going to have peas. Bangers and mash, we've got mashed potato on, and then I've got some little sausages in there, just some of our little, our own little sausages, the chipolatas, not really the sausages that I wanted, but Graham bought them in, so whatever. Um, yeah, I've just um, quickly put together my grocery and meal plan. I'm, I'm currently sort of processing that, so hopefully it should be up today sometime. I need to just fold up washing, the kids are outside, as always. It's so windy, but they, you know, want to play outside, so, and the dogs are outside, I think try and prize them in now because dinner's ready. Graham's late, I'm fucking late cooking dinner anyway, it's like quarter past five. But they're out there, as always. So, yeah. <laughs> I know what they're up to. It's beautiful though, it's absolutely gorgeous today. So sunny. Oh, you must be hungry. That was very quick. Come here and wash your hands. Yeah, I'm on them. 
No sand. No sand. Take your shoes off, though. There don't, we go. Don't do this. Is that a good dinner? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. They don't. Just heading out like some crazy mummy, but I've already planned to see my friends tonight, my three sort of best friends. We've planned a, like a mini break in May and I've just got so oh, I've just got so much coming on at the moment. But anyway, um yeah, we basically just need to discuss and sort stuff out. It's said ages away, but we just have to. And Graham's just laughing at me. Yeah, that's basically where I'm off to now. I probably, it's six o'clock, just, yeah, it's actually six o'clock, so I'll probably be back mm, before eight. I mean, I won't be very long, really. Um, it's so bright. So yeah, that's where I'm off to, and I'll probably see you in the morning. Graham's taking over, and he's giving the kids a bath. And it's just so nice today. So, it's still really sunny. Good morning. Good morning. I was gonna say good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're almost on to school run. It's 20 past eight. It's been a manic morning. I just, yeah, had a shower and stuff, but yeah. Heading on to school nursery run, so I'll I'm catch you early. in about half an hour probably. So I've done school nursery run, and um, like I said, I think I said Monday, I wasn't able to do gym day because I've got to take my car to Kia. Um, they're going to give me a courtesy car because when we got the car, when Graham like, picked up on the Saturday, like a week and a half ago, I think, um, we've got like this funny like mood lighting here. I don't know if you can see it and it kind of works um in like mood mode we have like a mood mode but it doesn't work in music mode and um yeah well basically the, the kia man he kind of he, he just didn't even really know what he was like on about he just didn't really know how it works and we've looked through the manual and um it should really go with bass and stuff i mean i'm not that phased about it but the bloke was like, come back when, because we have to swap over the logbook with the, the other car, the Sportage, and we have to bring that in anyway, and we've just received that. He said, come back and swap the logbook over, and then we'll, we'll take a look at it. You know, because obviously it's a new car, there's no reason why there should be anything wrong with it, you know. Um, so he obviously didn't check that electric side of it. Although it doesn't really phase me, it's just lights, isn't it? But, you know, like Graham said, we're paying for it, so, you know, you should expect it to work at least, especially on a new car. So basically, I'm just having to wait around till half past ten, which I'm really frustrated about. I've got, I've actually rang up Graham, and because I'm only down the road from this Kia place now, I've, I've kind of drive, I drove closer to it. I've just parked at Sainsbury's actually, and um, I said to Graham, uh, any chance because he's got the number, any chance he can ring up and say, ask him if I can come a bit earlier, like a, an hour earlier. <laughs> They're open anyway. Um, I'm just, you know, I just feel like I'm time wasting and I hate time wasting. I feel like I'm, I'm going to go in Sainsbury's and I'm going to spend money otherwise. And I'd rather not have a browse, I just don't need to. Um, but I do have a few things to take back. Um, but I just don't have enough time. An hour's not giving me enough. I've got a couple of things to prime up and one top from um, H&M that I need to take back. And because we're away next week, I just won't have the time. So yeah, I'm basically just waiting for Graham to ring me back and say, hey, okay, it's okay to drop the car off. And I'm obviously going to have a courtesy car, which is annoying. I hate all that. Every time they give me a courtesy car, it's always a city car with like thin tyres. Like last year, I think I had one. Yeah, I had it when um, I took my Sportage in for a service and ended up having to pay out for a new tyre for this car because they give me city tyres and... Although obviously this is all tarmac ground here where we live, it's just it's not it's not tarmac. We need really thick tires, um, so I end up popping a tire and paying out about nearly sixty quid for a new tire. So I'm going to try and stay out as much as I can with this other car because I'm sure they're just going to give me a little one of the little cars. They usually give me like a quite a small city car, um, just cheap to run, I suppose for them. But yeah, so I've got this other car to swap over. And I'm probably going to go to Primark and go to Bournemouth and just quickly take a couple of things back. Just get it done, really. Violet's at nursery. She made a big huff about it. I, I think I cut the first bit off on Monday. But basically, she, where we've had, um, where she, we were away, like not last week, the week before, since going back to nursery, she's been a bit funny about it. And she's been really, like, upset and uptight and, oh... Uh, I want to stay with you, mummy, and it just, oh my god, it makes me feel terrible, I feel awful, I feel like such a bad mum, just leaving her there, um, the nursery though, they're amazing, they ring me up straight away, if she, if she goes off crying or a little bit upset, like flustered, they ring me up straight away and tell me how she's doing, so, 
Um, they've already rang me to say she's absolutely fine. And I know she is anyway. She's been going since she was two years old. She's been going nearly a year and a half now. So she should be used to it by now. I just think when we've had a little bit of a break, it's just knocked her, which I'm worried about because basically we're going away next week. <sighs> so, but she'll be back on the Friday though. Um, yeah, so she went off in a bit of a half. Alistair is excited though for Easter holidays because he's only got one more day tomorrow and he keeps saying one more day. I'm just like, yes, excited. Um, I really need to sort out Easter basket stuff. Oh, I've just got so much to do, honestly. I've got to sort out packing because obviously I pack for everybody. Um, just, yeah, I've got my mum coming over staying at our house for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, I've got so much to do. <laughs> it's just, oh, don't even want to think about it. I've got so much to do do and sort out and for the par Easter party on Sunday I swear I give myself too much stuff really too much stuff to do I'm gonna go quite convenient now I'm just gonna go to sandwich stuff just like um, sandwich stuff salads I might do some like rice crispy cakes maybe some fairy cakes um, like nibbly bits and stuff quite convenient not too unhealthy though um, yeah so that's basically the plan for today and I've got to get Violet at 2 Alistair at 3 and come home and just get on top of things and i want to film my easter basket video but hopefully that should be up to tomorrow if i get it done today at some point um yeah so that's basically the plan for today <laughs> it's half past 10 i've got the courtesy car graham planned for them to basically have one of the team demonstrators cars to be in is the optimum which is basically like a ford mondeo the saloon version Graham wants to test drive it, that's why, because he has literally been eyeing one of these up for like the past year or two. And um, they very rarely get them in. They're very, um, they're just not necessarily that popular because they're really expensive. But oh my God, when he told me, I was excited, but I'm really nervous because this is a big car. And um, yeah, I'm sorry if this weekly vlog is so boring about cars. But anyway, it's amazing to drive. It is so amazing, so powerful and just so like smooth. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly pop to uh, Primark and H&M and drop this stuff off quick. Okay, I've just got home and I'm shattered, I feel shattered. I ended up um, going to the pound store. I didn't actually realize they had a pound store in Bournemouth, but I went there because they've got like their eggs and like stuff for Easter. And I basically finished off the kids' Easter baskets and got some stuff useful for Sunday for our party. I spent £20 on there, which wasn't too bad because I did take back a top, which was £10. And then I also went into Primark, took back stuff that was worth £16, spent £14. <laughs> I always do it, don't I? I always do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to go in. I'm just enjoying this car. It's really, really nice to drive. And Graham wants to drive it when he comes back from market. Just to give it a test run. But yeah, it's just really gadgety and it parks itself and stuff. And the bloke was like, you should definitely test out the parking gadget. It's amazing. Um, he said it's really nerve-wracking though, but I haven't done that. I don't want to, to be honest, no. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk for somehow the reason the car might just crash or something but anyway yeah i'm gonna get out watch this watch this gadget a chair moves back it's like gives you leg room to get out because <laughs> everybody needs that who's that down there oh hello she's like who the hell is this whose car is this hey you're not allowed in here and this is a good feature as well you just hold the boot Yay! <laughs> Everybody needs that. And look, my Primark bag broke. How typical is that? It was quite annoying carrying that back. That's what it looks like, if you're wondering. It's just kind of like a saloon. It's got quite a nice shape. It's got like a black roof. Quite a good boot, actually. Actually, a massive boot. Oh my god, I didn't realise how big that was. But it's filthy. Look how filthy that is. That's not me doing. That was just where they've been using it, I suppose. I'll quickly show you what I got from the pound store. So obviously everything is a pound. So I got those for Sunday. I think they're quite pretty and they just, yeah, I think the kids would like those. They've never had them, but they're just marshmallow filled. Um, I got some, oh, I've got some of our stuff that we like, the yogurt tops, and then these fruit gummies. And then I got some of the Haribo um, Charmellos, which basically means they're kind of in the sort of bunny, the shapes. 
bunny shapes and chicks and stuff. They're kind of the Easter version. They're a pound each. Oh yeah, some of these edible glitters. So they, I've got the blue one and the pink one. I thought they'd be good for like, you know, putting on top of um, cakes and stuff, like dusting. I got these randomly. I think I'm going to give them to my nieces. Um, I got these for Vi. Obviously, they're only a pound. I usually get uh, the pink and purple pair every year for Vi. They don't ever do any boy versions, so I think it's really strange. But I got these for Vi. They're a pound. And I got some of these bags that I'm going to put in. Um, you know, they're kind of like you can fill them up with like marshmallows. And I'm going to put like some mini eggs in there for all of my like family kids. These are going to go towards uh, the kids' Easter baskets. Kind of perfect, really. Um, just some bubble ones. They were a pound for two. I got some the speckled eggs, uh, the frozen version, and some of the Despicable Me ones. And I've got more, actually. Um, and I've got some pop cake sticks. I usually use those for quite a lot of things. I got two packs of these, um, basically look like what's it, and that's what I like for kind of novelty carrot looking things, you know. And these were better value than the actual what's it, so I'm, I usually just take them out of the bags and bag them up separately, differently. Um, but these were a pound for like 12 packs, so I got two of those for Sunday. I got some more of these, I'm basically going to take them all out of the bags. And the reason why I didn't get actually the, the mini egg version, the actual Cadbury's ones, is because the Cadbury's are 90 grams per pack. And these are all like 150, 140 grams, and they're all exactly the same price. So might as well get more for my money. And I got some of these pocket ones as well. And then lastly, I got two of these for the kids to go in their Easter baskets. And they did a chick version as well, but it didn't look as cute. So I got the little lamb and the bunny. So that's everything. Okay, so the bags are coming together, which I'm really happy about. It's great to um, buy little bits here and there and then put them together and kind of think, wow, well, actually, they've got loads, they've got enough. So yeah, the kids' bags are practically done. The only thing that I'm doing now, I've just tipped out all of these bags. I'm trying my hardest not to eat them. I've got like my strawberries here and my, my dairy-free milk. So I'm going to munch through those and try and distract myself from this massive bowl of um, like eggs. Look how amazing now. I've got my ribbon. And I'm going to use these as well as a mixture um, and just start filling the bags up for like all the kids, kind of work out how many I need, <laughs> go through my nieces and nephews and everything. Um, yeah, and then I usually use like these rubber hair ties just to securely tie them, just so they don't open. And then I get, obviously I've got so much ribbon, I usually get these from eBay, just buy loads of it in bulk from like China, it's so cheap. And I use it for like everything. And then I just tie a really cute pretty bow around it just to top it off really. So that is basically what I'm going to do. It's one o'clock now. And I'm just going to do that. See how long it takes me until I get Violet. And kind of eat my lunch in between. I just want to get it done. And then I can film my um, Easter bags for the kids as well. And put that up tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I'm basically going to be doing now. And hopefully it won't take too long. And hopefully I won't eat the eggs either. I've only just noticed that they come with ribbon. How good's that? It's a good thing I haven't started, so I can use that ribbon. Okay, so I've got my bags done, which look pretty cute, I think. So they're going to be for Sunday for the kids. And then I also do, I do these every year. I kind of, I've got loads of these sort of, what are they called, cone-shaped bags. Just fill them up with the crispies, and it kind of looks like a little carrot. So, yeah, I've got loads of those. And so that's some of it done, so I'm going to pack them away. Got to get Vi in about 15 minutes. And I've got some leftover for some cakes, I think. I'm gonna do like just some fairy cakes with some buttercream and stick them on top, I think. And so I've done school run. I've just been really, really busy just doing um, important things like obviously housework. I've put all load of washing on, I emptied and reloaded the dishwasher. Obviously the kids are actually outside. They've literally just gone outside. They had a snack in front of the telly and then they decided that they wanted to just go off and play so that's absolutely fine they're just here actually with the dogs um i've just been editing my easter bag video which will be up tomorrow and i've just been trying to back up videos because while i'm away obviously you want to see something and i'm not going to be here so i won't necessarily have the opportunity to just do separate videos like meals and stuff and grocery hauls so i'm just trying to back up my videos and trying to get stuff done um, which takes time. I know you want to see my q and I've got like four parts of my q and I'm not even joking. Um, but again, I just want to back them up. Um, just so they don't come out in one hit. Otherwise you won't be seeing anything for like a whole week. 
so yeah I've kind of got a little bit of a headache as well I just I don't know I don't know why I just have I've just been sorting out things trying to like plan things and trying to write lists for when we go away on Monday and lists for the party on Sunday um, of what we're going to do and what I'm going to make and do for the weekend um, what else have I been doing I think that's it oh and I haven't even got dinner out of the freezer I completely forgot I've literally only just got it out now when I remembered what like I haven't really had food on my mind today um, so yeah we we're supposed to have salmon stir fry tonight and we're not going to have that now and Graham's said when we take the car back so we're taking the car back very soon we're just going to get something while we're out I think we might go to KFC we haven't been there in a very long time but yeah that might be a bit of a naughty treat what the kids are doing Alice is there in the garden the dogs near the kids <laughs> Alice there with the chicken and there's Donk. Graham's just seeing whether he can drive that um, Optima. I kept saying Optum, I think. Optima. Um, and then we're going to go. I'm getting a bit of a headache, so I think I've already said that. I'm getting a bit of a headache. I think I need some food, like proper food, like carbs and stodge in me. So, yeah, I think we're going to go. We've got Alistair brought home from school. Little sunflower. So cute. So it's growing really well. One of the flowers that I got yesterday at Morrison's. Look how pretty they are. I just really like those. Just the combination. I had to take the car back. Sadly, Graham can't drive the car. So it looks like Mummy's driving. Yay! So what about I? Alice has got something in his eye. So we're waiting for Daddy to... He's just picking up. He's doing something in the chicken shed. So, yeah, waiting for him to hurry up. All these chickens were gone and they're currently pullets. They're currently babies. You can kind of see them in there. Um, and they're not ready to come out yeah. yet. They're tiny, tiny, and they, they lay tiny, tiny pullet eggs still. So, yeah. yeah, soon they'll be out soon though. And once we do all the fencing and stuff, out. but yeah, I can see the sheep. Like, sunbathing. I don't know why there's an old sheep there. Can you see Alistair? Huh? There's a sheep just there. She's out of her. Oh no, she's still penned in. That's odd though. Who's sad they can't drive the Optima? You ordered the Optima and you can't even drive it. Silly sausage. Aren't yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Hey! Good, Dad. You can feel me driving it. <laughs> I can want top gear. Hi. So there's Claire just wrapping the new car through a hedge. We're definitely pleased to get the car back, aren't we? Yeah. And we've got three, three bees. Freebies! <laughs> yeah, the man wanted them back. What are you doing, Cheeky? Your terror. So yeah, we're gonna go for a KFC now. Starving, absolutely starving. I know, I can smell them, Alistair. I can smell your feet. Someone's tired, aren't you, Bye? We're here, that was quick. Dinner time. Graham's only allowed barbecue sauce because he's been naughty, aren't you? <laughs> and so I'm what have you got? the leader. You are the leader. You've got chicken, beans and chips. What's Alistair got? Mmm, delicious. Look how light it is. It's after seven. It's still so light. So you've chosen two with pigs on, haven't you? Do you like pigs? Yes. What have we got? Noisy. You've got I had a weird this one. Hide and okay, noisy farm, and we've got hide and seek pig, which is one of our favourites. Pigs. Where's the baby pigs? It's the pig in the pigsty. Where are her piglets? It in uh, her tummy. Are they? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Do we see behind the gate? <gasps> How many she got? Can you count them? One, two, three, four. Good girl. She had four piggies. Live. Yeah. Lot, lots of fuzzy, wuzzy bugs. Good boy. For me, older. Yeah, can you balance? Go on then, balance. 
Okay. Yeah, arms up, arms up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Go on then. Whoa! Wow, clever. You my ballerina husband. <laughs> I'm a ninja. <laughs> oh, so cute, Violet. Violet, try and get your leg out. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I can! Everyone, so it's Thursday and it is quarter to ten. Um, me and Violet basically are just planning on having a really chill day today and I'm actually pleased that it's raining because I don't feel so bad staying in when it's like Mommy. awful weather. Yeah, bye. Violet's here. What have you got? What are you nibbling on? What have you got, bye? Carrots! Carrots! And we're watching Beauty and the Beast which is like oh, one of my favourites. I forgot how much I like it. It came on demand just recently. Um, but yeah, we're basically just having a really chill day today. I kind of, I went to bed with a little bit of a headache. I woke up with a little bit of a headache. I've taken some tablets. It seems to have disappeared, which is really good. But yeah, just a chill day today. I've got a busy weekend and I just want to chill and then we're obviously going away next week so today is i've done a few chores i've done the dishwasher and i put a load of washing on i've stripped alistair's bed i've tidied around the bathrooms and stuff um and yeah i've just published a video my easter the easter bag videos we're gonna have their bags tomorrow um but generally it's gonna be a really chill day today which is nice i just need it i'm just i feel absolutely shattered like honestly i feel drained just thinking about the weekend as well but i'm looking forward to the long weekend i'm sure you're all looking forward to it as well um i'm actually gonna go online and see if i can book me and alice to go to go to the cinema tomorrow because violet's in earth um and i've got alistair off obviously because he's off this is last day today, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I want a new house. You want a what? A new house. And a new house. You two are all fighting in my back. <laughs> You're such a drama queen, Violet. I just can't get over these prices. Look at them. This is this is just a normal film, so not a, a kids or anything. Ten pound, over ten pounds for me, and eight pounds nearly for Alistair. I mean, need to find a voucher or something. Mummy's favourite bit. I like your princess. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know. Yes, you do. Cinderella. No, what's her name? B B B B. Remember? Belle. Yes, Belle. B B B. And the beast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good dancing, Violet. Right, Violet's this helping me fill up the eggs. It. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You close it together. We're going to fill up with all the yummy treats that we've got, the bunnies and stuff. We've got loads of eggs this was for our egg hunt. We need these two. Yeah, we've got to find the right one. I think that one might fit, hopefully. The turtle. Oh, you've done a turtle. A baby turtle. A baby turtle. Are you drawing with your baby Annabelle? Oh, I like your writing. Build tower. Out custard. We need to get it to the mummy. Mm-hmm. You're doing really well. You like daddy. <laughs> As tall as Daddy, that would be really tall, wouldn't it? <laughs> Whoa! It's as tall as you, Violet, isn't it? No, but it's same as you, same height as you, isn't it? Kids, what did Mummy just do? What did I do? Where, where did we go? 
Um, it's a nest. It's a nest ring you got. It's no Sunday. It's not Sunday. What is it? Friday. Yeah, and what, what day, what is it? Good Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. And nest ring is closed. Yes, am I silly mummy or what? Am I silly? Is yeah. everything is nice. Everything, it's Good Friday. Well, yeah, I suppose everything's good, but, um, yeah, so I ended up, I didn't even think about it, honestly. I just was, like, getting us all ready, faffing about, um, rushing, like, I hadn't even had time to really do anything to my hair, like, dry or anything, and, and then I got to nursery and I was like, oh my god, it's closed, oh my god, it's Good Friday. Of course they're not going to be open Good Friday or Bank Holiday Monday. How ridiculous. And because Vi's like top to toe in nursery clothes, which is like play dirty old clothes, it would be nice to put her in something a bit more nicer, seeing as her clothes are like covered in paint and pen. And oh, so, yeah, we're back home anyway. Good morning. Good Friday. Um, yeah. It's good. We're going to have, we're going to have mummy time now with the kids. So we're going to have some nice time together, aren't we? We're going to decide what to do. I'm not sure what we're going to do, though. Let's start again. It's 20 to 10, and I curl my hair just to make it look a bit more okay. Uh, so I like the kids. They had a snack each, and... Oh, my God. Please don't say I'm the only one that's done that. I'm sure someone else has done that before. I think it's not the first time, actually. You were probably didn't want one, did she? Um, we're going to head to Hobby Craft because I need to get some candy melts and then we're going to discuss where we go from there. Probably a soft play because, you know, I was looking yeah. yesterday at cinema tickets and stuff and there is no kids, um, Odeon or Odeon kids sort of offers till Monday. Like how typical is that? So there's no way I'm paying £8 each per child and ten over £10 for myself when I know next week... Um, we come back on the Thursday. I can take them both on the Friday or take Alice on the Friday and pay five pounds for both of us. So Yeah, that's just an absolute rip-off. God, that's... Alistair, <laughs> we're in the Christmas clearance. Look at this. It's immense. And we've got Easter bits. We've got a couple of Easter bits. We still need to find candy melts. I don't think we need Santa hat. We've got loads. Look at the clearance stuff, it's everywhere. It's just aisles and aisles of clearance. Got a couple of bits. Yeah, we've just got to Monkey Madness, which is in Christchurch. Monkey we did actually go to Adventure Wonderland, but then um, I did, we didn't get out of the car. Hang on, bye. Um, I didn't get out of the car, but then I realised that they've got the whole park open. And I thought, you're probably going to have to pay for the park. That's what they usually do. They won't just let you pay for soft play. And it's raining. I'm not paying for the park if it's raining. You know, we're not going to sit outside all day in the rain. So we have came, came to Monkey Madness in Christchurch. And we, you know, it's like a big soft play. It's actually really big. They've got laser tag here now as well. Obviously, it's not really for their ages just yet. But we're going to go in. We'll probably get some lunch. This and I'm sure it's going to be manic. Can you put that down, please? Um... Yeah, so it's called monkey okay, we're gonna go play in the soft play. It's called monkey world. No, monkey madness. It's for little monkeys like you. Okay, I'm gonna have a couple of hours of fun just running around. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a place to sit. We'll see. It looks busy. Look at our platter. Look how big it is. Is that nice? Yeah, it's gonna be hot. So we spent two hours at soft play, it's just after one, and yeah, you have like a two hour limit when it's um, busy times, and it was really busy, so yeah, we had a two hour limit, and we are totally stuffed, like we totally, we, are, we couldn't finish that platter, it was massive, but um, yeah, I'm so full up now. So yeah, we need to go and get supplies for Easter uh, Sunday for our party, so we're going to go to Waitrose. Um, and hopefully okay. the kids are going to be good, yeah? We'll give it back. And hopefully Violet won't fall asleep on the way because I think you're tired, aren't you, Vi? Look how cute! Oh. So Alistair's been decorating his Easter egg hunt stick. That is so good, Alistair. I love it. Um, um, Violet did um that bit. Oh, well done, Vi. You're not going to put any more colours on it? No. Okay. <laughs> That's the place to put it, Alistair. 
Okay. <laughs> Go put it over there. Go put it over there. So I've actually got my comfies on and it's three o'clock. That says two, but it's actually three because I still haven't changed the time. But it's three o'clock now and I've actually just been doing, um, using my candy mount. So I got, I just got the white ones and the pink ones and I've basically been doing, I'm doing these and I might do them that one as well because I've got quite a lot of pink left over. Um, some little lollies, lolly molds. So they're in the fridge at the moment, so I'll show you when they're done. I actually got a couple more eggs from Hobbycraft because we obviously we've got a lot of children in our family and I thought, well, I'll get a couple more. There's eight pack for a pound. That's pretty good. And then I got a couple of crafts. So I got Violet this because she wanted that. And then Alistair got that Easter egg hunt stick thing that you just saw. But this is what she chose. So we might even take that away with us. Um, I got my little niece this because I think she'd enjoy that. Um, just to go with their little goodie bags because she's a younger one. The older ones, I mean, they're, they're not going to be phased on doing anything like this, but she's a younger one. And then I got my two little nephews. Again, they're sort of five and six, or four and six, sorry. I got them these little foam activities. They're only a pound each to go with their little goodie bag. And I got these as well. These are a pound. They're just decoration. Yeah, so I got these little decorative stick things. I'm going to poke in things like cakes and I just thought they were so pretty. I wish I would have got more actually, they're a pound. Okay, second batch gonna go in the fridge. First batch, they weren't a disaster, but they weren't that great. I mean, they're still gonna taste great, but I mean, first batch is always the worst ones, but yeah, so they're little bunny faces. Okay, I'm just doing dinner. I'm doing chicken and lentil curry tonight. Got my rice on the go as well. I think I might stick some like peas in it or something. Alice is actually outside still. Violet's coming, she's watching Little Mermaid. And I'm actually gonna get my last batch of little lolly, oh, there you go, lolly things out. See, look how much better they've turned out. I don't know why they had the first batch so bad, but yeah, they should come out really, really easily. And then I've done one pink one. Not quite as good, but yeah. So they're done for Sunday. So curry is officially done. I'm so hungry for that. Um, Graham's actually going to be late home. Um, he's got to do some milking. So he's well, he's milking now. I think he started milking at like half four. So hopefully he should be home before half five. We'll see. How was the curry? Was it good? Yeah. Mummy's officially stuffed. Alistair licked his bowl basically. Was it good? Delicious. You want some more? Okay. So I think I'm going to wrap up my weekly vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about my hair. I'm actually just about to hop in the shower. I just feel like I just need to zone out. The kids have been bickering like crazy today and today is the first day of the Easter holidays and I'm feeling slightly stressed already. So story of my life at the moment with them bickering quite a lot. Um, but hopefully it'll get better. Let's hope. So yeah, I just want to put on some music and just zone out. That's one good thing about them being older, or a little bit older, is that I can do that. Graham still isn't back from uh, milking, so I don't know where he is. I'm sure he's still working. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to spend 15, 20 minutes in the shower and just zone out for a bit. That's what I like to do, actually. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed my weekly vlog. I need to, when I obviously edit them, I've noticed like, especially with, you know, looking back at my other weekly vlogs, um, you seem to like them, the fact that they're long. And I'm gonna keep them long. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them long. It's just, I just need to learn not to talk so much in the first like couple of days. I feel like I use up all my time within the first like two to three days. And then by Thursday and Friday, I just have no time left. Um, and then I end up like just having hardly any time basically for Thursday and Friday. So yeah, I need to do my timing a bit better and just cut stuff down maybe a bit shorter. But I just I find my vlogs aren't that pretty. I just feel like I'm talking all the time, which is, I don't know, maybe I just find that boring for me to watch. Maybe it's interesting to watch. But you know, a lot of people have really short weekly vlogs. I'm like, how do they have them so, so short? I seriously could, could not cut my down. Got a cat in I just couldn't. 
So anyway, I will see you all next week. It will be a bit of a week, a different weekly vlog next week because I said we're going away, but I'm sure it will hopefully still be interesting. And yeah, I will see you all soon. Are you going to say bye? Say bye? Bye. Bye bye. I miss you, Peter. <laughs>